vacuum in, in the manifold, intake manifold, with the RPM in regard here with the coil. Yeah. So you got the coil and the vacuum line feeding information into the computer, which is very basic. And it feeds um, a water line into the main throat of the carby. Now, I had to get a very fine nozzle and make sure nothing dropped down the throat. Yeah. So I soldered that onto that with a bit of really heavy gauge wire yeah. and spun it around like an umbrella underneath the, the oh, line yeah, of the flow. Yeah, yeah. And then, because it was just coming out of straight yeah. thrust. Yeah, yeah, that would Yeah, and what happens is the umbrella, it hits the edge of that and yeah. it, it, it atomizes it. Yeah. Well, not atomizes it, but aerates it at least, you know, breaks it up. And uh, it's fantastic. I can now run it on um, 91 octane and it still revs right out, doesn't ping, no knock, nothing. It's unbelievable. And what, you got more power? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, whenever the uh, Spitfires were in trouble in the Second World War, the main rule was always push forward uh, beyond full throttle into the water injectors. Yeah. And the water injectors, you know, when you've got the engine really running, it acts like steam, you know, yeah, it's like a steam yeah, engine as yeah, well. Yeah. But it, 